So now that now that uh, you're you have a company, you guys have some some movement, some programs, so many ways that you guys are affecting other people's life and, and essentially paying it back and you know doing your part. If you could change the way that um, the cannabis industry specifically um, so it is involved with inmates, what do you think is missing? The first thing I would say is I would just love to see. We was talking to Popcorn the other day. We were thinking about just starting with the one. Our inmates that we have on 40 tons is, you know, let them be a part of it. Let's, let's get them some shares. You feel what I'm saying? Let's get them some shares. So when it does explode and when it does go big, you know, let's, let's let them, let's let them, let's let the real people win off of it. You know, let's let the, the right people that needs to win, win, you know, uh, like, you know, I'm tired of, uh, you know, if they just see the stuff that the people need, you know what I mean? That that's needed in there. And it's like, damn, you know, it's like all this money being made, but no one's thinking about the people who help promote it to the first advertisers. You know, it's just these people advertise this, this thing. You can't come out with a water or oyster sunglasses, nothing that blows up this fast. No, it was already premeditated. It was already pre-done that it was already billboards been put up. You know, you don't need to put up a billboard. You could just say, boom, it's legal. And now all of a sudden it's, it just explodes everywhere, you know? So, you know, just give, give, give love to the people and, and, and sit the people at the table who deserves to sit there, you know, just, you know, sit the right, sit the right people. Not everybody, you know, not, we're not saying, Hey, let's hold 40,000 people sit at the table. But we are saying at least give them a shot, you know, like, you know, at least let them try, you know, Maybe all 40,000 is not supposed to sit at the table. But if everybody just had the opportunity to sit at the table of the people, I just want to see more. If I was, let's just say, let's just say, I'm not saying I was a top dealer, but let's just say I was one of the top dealers. I want to see the other top dealers too sit at the table. I want to walk in some dispensary and like, oh man, what's up? I see you doing it the right way now. And, you know, like I remember when back in the day when we was, had it in the trunk with the, with the, with the bag, you know, I, I, I want to see more of that, you know, like let's let the game shift over, you know what I mean? And shout out to Virgil too. I like the Virgil when he got his license and he didn't let nobody stop him. So shout out to Virgil. Now there's a lot of people. Um, I personally spend a lot of time with people um, in the underground that are weighing their options of whether they want to do this in the uh, regulated market. What would you tell those individuals? That's in the underground? Yeah, that are in the underground, looking at if they want to come above ground. I would say stop now. You know what I mean? I would say stop now and uh, figure out the right way to do it because you don't want to stop when it's too late. You know, so sometime it can be too late and uh, it's not legal federally. So I would say stop now. Don't 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 send your family through that pain. You know, what I mean, especially if you got kids, I would really say stop if you got kids, because the, the pain and the trauma that you're causing or, or that are going to get caused by you going away for a day or five days or five years or 50 years or 10 or whatever sense that they're going to give you. That's this time you can't get back in life. It's just way too short to um, too too short to just throw it away like that. You know, what I mean, it's just we got way more important stuff to do, and we got you know you only got a limited time to be on this planet. So try to do the best that you can while you're here. And and, and what kind of support do you think uh, people battling with those decisions? What kind of support do they need from? you know, networking groups like ourselves, investors, like what are the things that you think people need help with in order to go legit? Confidence. They need the confidence that if I do give this up, is somebody going to hire me or who's going to put these lights? You know what I mean? Like who's going to pay these light bills? You know what I mean? Or who's going to pay this $6 gas that they got in California? You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, who's going to pay for this stuff? 
And when this is all, once you've done it for so long, let's say a person's got people that's been 10 years. I was just talking to Twin Fish the other day that uh, one of the owners eliminated. She's been doing it since 99. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you know, so she had a lot of game on how it was back in the day and how it transitioned. So you get to see, you know, Doc been in the game 40, 50 years. You feel what I'm saying? Like Doc Ray, shout out to Doc Ray. But my whole thing is, it's just, it's the confidence that you're going to need that you can be able to transition without it being, you know, you know, even, even, you know, even me getting out and that to transition to say, Hey, I'm just going to tell a story and try to live off the story and this and this and that until the thing kicks off. You know, it's even a transition for me. I hustled since I was 16. So when people read the story, I hustled my whole life. So to change it up and say, Hey, I'm not hustling anymore. I'm just going to just, way to the ball drops you feel what i'm saying and i gotta you know and, and uh and depend on it on, on this really kicking off and um you know it took it took it it took it it took a lot of pride it took a lot of things to decide for, for me to even get a gofundme you know what i mean to say no i'm dependent on this i'm dependent on the industry to have my back you know what i mean like you know that took a lot i i, I moved out in the 11th grade so that has to tell you that i I have no problem with trying to be on my own and try to get my own, you know, so you're just trying to do it the right way. Well, I, I gotta uh, salute you for, like, you you could have got out and told your story to a couple people and then kind of went into your own cocoon, you know, like, it's a lot to handle, but well, you've been out. You've been vocal. You have been putting in the work, doing interviews after interview, after chatting with everybody. And I mean, I, I really, I really commend you for taking that. I couldn't imagine like you're learning new technology to do this. You are going from I didn't technology. Have people technology is just <laughs> out of this. Oh my god! I don't even want to bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, that like that's that's the testament to you. You're going through all that. Like you went, you came out swinging. Right. And and all, talking to all these people to get the story out is a completely different life. You weren't doing any interviews a year ago. Now you're doing tens, hundreds of them. That's crazy to completely shift like that. Yeah, it's like four today. You know, <laughs> I, I, I flew in. I had to do half of it on the plane and I finished the other part of the live. I did a live earlier. But yeah, I got I got two more, two more today. Man, I love it. All right. So look, we're, we're almost out of time. And I, I, I want to be respectful of um, your time, especially I know you're very busy. Um, looking to the future, talk to me about what you want to see uh, the future, let's say in the next three to five years. How do you want to see the world that we live in? What would you like to see? The first things that I want to see is I want to see the 40,000 people. You know what I mean? Like, I want to just, I want the whole pro prohibition just to end and just go and let the people out. That's the first thing that I want to see. Second of all, I want to see more of the 40,000 people sitting at the table. You know what I mean? Sitting at the table the correct way, not this fake social equity stuff when they're bribing them for a license and they're giving them 1%. No, let them eat. You know, let the, let the, let the people eat who's, whose blood, sweat, and tears is on this planet, you know? So those are just the real things I want to see happen. All right. And then uh, the future of 40 Tons. Oh, 40 Tons is going to be one of the biggest brands around. You know? 40 Tons is, is going to be, we're starting a culture. We're not just, we're not just building a brand. We're building a culture, you know? So we're going to have it where people come home and they're a part of the culture and they're, you know, we, we would like all the 40,000 people to be a part of the culture. You feel what I'm saying? And be a part of the brand and be able to hire them on jobs. We've got the 40 tons productions. We're trying to branch out on everything where we can be able to hire, you know, and if we got the vans going back to the prison, those are the 40 tons vans it's going back and forth. Just things that they can do that we can hire them under and then everybody can do, you know. So 40 tons is going to be around forever. And um, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be the biggest brand ever. It's going to be the biggest brand ever, I promise. Hey, bro, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. You got our full support. Um, I know you guys are primarily in the West Coast, but I know you got a lot of support and love on the East Coast. Yeah, uh, the East Coast shows are made love. 
Yeah, absolutely. Sometimes the East Coast shows more love than the West Coast. <laughs> hey, be careful. We out here, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Well, we hope to have you out in New York when we start getting our um, in-person events going forward. So yeah, yeah, that's, what, that's, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying, we're trying to get the tour started. Like you know, I got, I got a, I got a, um, I like four paid events that's coming to Seven Ten Labs and uh, Marijuana Matters, a couple of other ones that we're doing this week. That we're 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 we're, we're starting off. You know, I already did like the weed maps, Vanity Fair, and stuff like that, but it's time for the tour to start. I'm ready to get on the road. You know, so we're, we're ready. gonna be hitting up Zoe. Zoe Wilder, yeah. we got your number. Yeah. <laughs> She's the OG herself. Um uh, look shout out to you, Zoe. Yeah, shout out to Zoe. That's a fact. If you come to the East Coast, when that tour when that tour happens, you let us know. We'll make it happen. Um, man, I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate you you being so open and transparent about your story. Um, I appreciate that, um, you know, you, you let yourself just, just be a face for 40,000 other people. You, and you don't, you really don't have to do that. You choose to do that. And, um, like I said, I, I, I commend you. I appreciate you for, for making time for us and, and working through our zoom headaches to try to make it yeah, happen. Yeah, it all, but we, made it. <laughs> we worked through it, man. That was just, that was a sidetrack. <laughs> hey we made it happen um yo before we wrap up i just want to thank everybody uh for tuning in um we we do this for for the people and want to make sure we get the information and the resources out to you so uh corvain dropped a lot of links and resources so we'll make sure to put those um in the youtube description uh so everybody that that came through we appreciate you we have our first live event uh, actually on, um, Friday or on Saturday, I'm sorry, Juneteenth. Uh, we just getting together in New York city, central park. You'll see the information on our Instagram and in our email. Uh, but I'm excited just to see some people again, some people in the cannabis community. Uh, so look forward to that. And then next week we have, um, our girl Kalani coming through. We getting super techie with the cannabis world. Um, Lulu, I'll, I'll I know that that's a, one of your best friends, so I'll let you. One of my best friends. Yeah, give the Kwani two cents. is um, an innovator, a digital uh, expert. So we're going to talk. We've been hearing all these things about blockchain. We've been hearing all these things about crypto. We've been hearing all these things about NFT. And my girl Kalani is going to come and break it down and see, talk about what actually can be possible for cannabis. So hope to see everyone next Wednesday. Where we're going to talk all about those things. Yeah, for sure. All right, Corvain, we'll let you Thank go, you, man. Thank you, Corvain. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you all. Take care.